you know, war is not on, it's not black and white, it's dirty. But there's a certain line when it comes to children that you don't cross, the Hamas crosses time after time. And when I see kids being used in warfare, it's something that, that sickens me and there's no explanation for this behavior. My name is Noel Leib and uh, I was born in Canada. I lived there for 18 years of my life and after graduating high school, I decided to move to Israel and enlist in the IDF. So a year after graduating high school, I found myself stationed in Gaza. And one night while trying to catch up on some sleep, I hear this alarm go off. And now that I have a few seconds, so I grab my gear, I put on my vest, I buckle my helmet, and four of us pile into the Jeep. And while the driver is driving as fast as he can, we receive commands on how and where to search. When we, once we reach the point of contact, we separate into pairs and start looking for this terrorist that crossed the border. And within minutes of searching, we understand that we are looking and, and searching after two innocent, scared and shivering 14-year-old Palestinians. And when we stop these kids, I think to myself, what are these kids doing here? You know, this border isn't the border between Belgium and France. This is a very dangerous, hostile border. No one should be here, especially at 2 a.m. And then I realized, I realized that Hamas sent these kids to go and test the IDF, to look for the blind spots, to look at our procedures. And then what's sad is that these kids were sent and given a glorified story that take this knife, go cross the border, go kill Jews and you'll be glorified and praised for the rest of your life. But to us soldiers, we knew that there's no way that this could happen. And you know, they were sent on a suicide mission. If this would have happened in any other country in the world, these kids, these poor kids would have been dead a long time ago. And for Hamas, it's a win-win situation. You know, if the IDF would have fired against these kids, Hamas would have bring propaganda points that you guys would see in your media and they would use it against Israel. But we didn't do that and they brought back information to Hamas. You know, this is one of my many first-hand experiences, but it doesn't end there. My own brother who served he found three grenades in the closet of a four-year-old kid. My close friend found countless of weapons and explosives under baby cribs and in schools. Hamas uses children, and this isn't a secret. There's plenty of visual evidence to prove it. You know, I'll be honest with you. The reason that I came here today is to stop something that I see is unforgivable. It's something that, you know, when kids are proactively being used against their will and against their knowledge, it's not about the conflict anymore. There's, there's no future. And unfortunately, the galley that's being shown me right now by breaking the silence, it makes me feel ashamed as a soldier. A soldier I was raised on morals and ethics. And this is what, this is what people think of me. You know, European Union parliament members, it's time to, to wake up. You know, we can stand here today and, and, and point fingers and, and blame each other, but what really matters is that we leave a fertile ground for the future generation, which is today's children a generation where crops of peace can be planted? If the Palestinian Authority in Hamas teaches their kids to hate, brings them into this conflict unwillingly, there's no future. You know, how can we achieve peace if the foundations are rotten? These kids are our future. And as long as Hamas and the Palestinian Authority continues to rule, there is no way that we can achieve a better future for the generations to come. And that's exactly what Israel wants a prosperous and peaceful future for our children. Thank you.